courageous men that would not break the line. They were willing to charge the enemy, right? The enemy comes at us like a roaring lion, but seeking for someone to devour. But we're going to stand resolute in the power and the strength of Almighty God. We're going to stand with conviction Monday morning as well as Sunday at church, right? In our places of work, in our places of education, wherever we go. And I, I'm thrilled for what God is going to do and what God is doing in raising up the next generation. I am tremendous hope. On great fields, something stays. Forms change and pass, bodies disappear, but spirits linger to consecrate ground for the vision place of souls. And reverent men and women from afar and generations that know us not, us today, and that we know not of, heart drawn to see where and by whom great things were suffered and done for them, shall come to this deathless field to ponder and dream. Man, I'm saying, Holy Spirit, put dreams of God yeah, yeah. in us, down low, in us today, to ponder and dream, and lo, the shadow of a mighty presence, Holy Spirit, shall wrap them in its bosom, and the power of the vision pass into their souls. And that's what I'm praying that today, the, the power of the vision, that, that resolute conviction, that said, we will not break the lines. We will charge the enemy. We are not going to be uh, given in by compromise. But we're going to stand in conviction and declare, your kingdom come, your will be done. And do as Jesus did in the garden. Nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done.